cattle uses traditional hybridization technique to develop new varieties. It's similar to what bees do in nature when they go from plant to plant pollinating flowers. Only we do that by hand. After pollination, once the grape berries are large enough, the clusters are harvested. While the grapes may be seedless, they do contain a tiny seed trace that can be removed in the lab and nurtured with nutrients and sugars to grow a new plants that we call hybrid seedlings. The new seedlings are very delicate, so they're started in test. I'm Terry Bacon, Director of SunWorld's Variety Development Center. I'm taking you behind the greens on how our variety development program takes new varieties from this to this. The first is our new late white seedless table grape, shown here about two weeks from harvest. This variety is grower friendly, requiring relatively little hand labor, and it sizes naturally to about an inch. It has incredible flavor. And we have a new late black seedless grape, shown here five weeks from harvest. Another naturally big grape with great taste, and unlike other black grapes, virtually no seed trace. Over the next five weeks, the color will become full black and the aroma will develop and, and sugars will develop. We usually pick this starting in the last week of September going through the month of October. Both of our new late season varieties will be marketed with Scarlata Seedless brand grapes. That would give retailers strong late season offerings in all three colors. SunWorld uses traditional hybridization technique to develop new varieties. It's similar to what bees do in nature when they go from plant to plant pollinating flowers. Only we do that by hand. After pollination, once the grape berries are large enough, the clusters are harvested. While the grapes may be seedless, they do contain a tiny seed trace that can be removed in the lab and nurtured with nutrients and sugars to grow a new plants that we call hybrid seedlings. The new seedlings are very delicate, so they're started in test tubes under grow lights that simulate the sun. As they become stronger, they're transplanted into a greenhouse and they slowly acclimate to the direct sunlight and harsher conditions. In the springtime, the young seedlings are planted outside in the field where they'll remain for the next four years. From the time the cross is made to the first commercial harvest of a new variety is typically over 10 years. An important part of the testing process is the fruit trial flavor panels and we hold weekly during the fruiting season. This is where we get feedback from consumers, customers and marketers and find out their preferences on the new varieties in the pipeline. But we're always looking for the next big thing and something that helps our customers differentiate themselves. We're always trying to provide a great eating experience for the consumer. That's very important to us. 